Hi guys, so today I'm going to do the dreadlock tag, and I wasn't tagged in this, but why not do it, right? So I have all these questions on my phone, I'm just going to go through them, it's just 20 questions, and the first one is, do you remember the specific moment you decided you were going to dread your hair, and how did it feel? Um, I, I don't know, I've always wanted to dread my hair for a while, but... I guess like one time like you know what like I'm just gonna go for it and I felt pretty excited number two what method if any did you use to start your dreadlocks I um teased them and then I used a little crochet hook to make them more round and like thick or circular and more formed number three how old are they they just hit three months Four, the length of your longest dread, I'd say is this one, like the very bottom one. Like this is the one that hasn't grown any loops or any like waves to it, because a lot of them have like wave and like loops in them, so I'd say that one's the longest. Number five, do you have any dreads that are especially unique, strange, or awesome? I have one back here and it's just super, I have one that's like somewhat like this but it's super wavy. Number six, how many dreads do you currently have and is it the same number you started with? Um, I'm not exactly positive how many I have but it is the same number I started with. What shampoo or other products do you use? Um, right now I'm using Mane and Tail shampoo and conditioner. Um, how often do you wash your dreads? I go about like a week, a week and a half. I don't go too long because, eh, I don't like going that long. And you could definitely tell when your, like, hair is dirty. Like, you know when it's time to wash. So everyone's different, I would guess. Do you do any regular maintenance? No. What are your favorite beads or other decorations? Um, I don't have any actual beads, but I do have like these wire coil things on them. And but my favorite one is this dread wrap I did, and it's rustic colors and it's just hemp, but I think it looks like really cool. Um, if your dreads had their own personal motto, what would it be? Do you? I don't know. I, I would have to think about that one for longer. If you could start a new set of dreads, would you do anything different? I think I'd probably like sort the back out more, like make the parts even more straight and precise, but it's fine. Is there anything else unique about your appearance other than dreadlocks? Um, I mean, I have piercings and I have stretched ears, but no tattoos or anything. So I, I think piercings is just it. How many people do you personally know with dreadlocks? Not, oh, I'd say like one. One or two. Not many. Um... Have any employers turned you down for having dreads or, and vice versa, wanted you because of dreads? Um, no, I haven't actually had a job yet, so I'm just going to school now, but hopefully I don't run into a problem like that. That would not be cool. What are the weirdest questions you've gotten about your dreads? Um, do you wash them? I'm like, yes, I wash them. <laughs> Um, have you ever had a freak accident or embarrassing moment involving your dreads? No. Um, do you have any dreaded role models? Actually, there's quite a few. Like, I have a board on Pinterest just of people with dreads. Like, I just think they're such a beautiful thing and I don't know, I just love them. I have many role models. Um... What dreaded YouTubers, internet people could you see yourself hanging out with in real life? 
everyone. <laughs> and then number 20, who are you going to tag? I don't know, anyone with dreads. So, if you have dreads, do the tag. But, yeah. If you have any questions or anything else you want to know, just leave a comment. And I'll get to it later. Thank you. Bye.